Electric railways are a non-polluting, energy-efficient mode of transport for freight as well as people. Traction power for electric trains can be direct current, alternating current or even a composite system employing both alternating as well as direct current. Therefore, railway electric traction can be classified into three main types. Direct current electrification system, alternating current electrification system and a composite system. Direct current or DC motors have a high starting torque and moderate speed control. They provide high torque at low speeds and low torque at high speeds. This led to DC series motors being extensively used in the DC traction system. A DC electrification system has several advantages. It allows rapid acceleration and braking of DC electric motors. DC systems cost less compared to AC systems. There is less energy consumption and they take less space and have lower weight. Importantly, a DC system does not cause electrical interference with nearby communication lines. Typically, in DC traction systems, three-phase power received from the power grids is de-escalated to low voltage and converted to direct current by the rectifiers and power electronic converters. DC electric power can be supplied to the locomotives through third and fourth rail systems when operating voltages are between 600 to 1200 volts. For higher voltages of 1500 to 3000 volts, electric supply is provided by the overhead catenaries. However, DC voltage decreases with increasing length and therefore necessitating expensive substations at frequent intervals typically between 2 to 4 kilometers. The overhead wire or third rail must be relatively large and heavy. Alternating current or AC traction has several advantages which have relegated DC traction to the sidelines. AC power can be easily stepped up or down. It allows easy controlling of AC motors and the interval between substations is larger being between 20 to 30 kilometers. Moreover, it can use lighter catenaries and low currents can be transmitted at high voltages. It also has reduced capital costs of electrification. The supply systems of AC electrification include single phase, three phase and composite systems. The single phase 25 kV at 50 Hz is the most commonly used configuration for AC electrification. It is used for heavy haul systems and mainline services since it doesn't require frequency conversion. This is one of the widely used types of composite systems wherein the supply is converted to direct current to drive DC traction motors. Although systems consisting of 11 to 15 kV supply at 16.7 or 25 Hz are also used by some railway systems. Three-phase AC locomotives employ three-phase induction motors rated at 3.3 kV at 16.7 Hz for traction. 25 kV at 15 Hz supply from the catenaries is converted to electric motor rating by transformers and frequency converters. Nevertheless, AC traction also has some drawbacks such as increased costs of maintenance of lines and the need for increased clearances in tunnels due to the overhead wires. Although use of rigid catenaries could alleviate this disadvantage to some extent. Composite system or multi-system trains are used to provide continuous journeys along routes that are electrified using more than one system. One way to accomplish this is by changing locomotives at the switching stations. These stations have overhead wires that can be switched from one voltage to another. Another way is to use multi-system locomotives that can operate under several different voltages and current types. The WCAM class locomotives could operate under 1500 volt DC as well as 25 kV AC traction in the Mumbai territory. In Europe, it is common to use four system locomotives that can run on 
1500 volts DC, 3000 volts DC, 15 kilovolts at 16.7 Hz AC and 25 kilovolts at 50 Hz AC supply systems. What are your views? Please share in the comment section. If you like this video and other videos on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon.